guys. He says no, she'll find out, and he says so. Uh, he says, well, she'll get mad, she'll get me so much trouble. I'm already failing in class because of Roblox. Oh no, guys, I don't think you should fail in class because of Roblox. But, uh, he says, uh, you better not quit. Quit? I know your address anyways. Eric says, uh, what you do? Looks like, looks like he, he knows Eric's address. Guys, this might get, this might get, uh, a little creepy, guys. Okay, guys, let's continue. So it looks like uh, that guy knows his IP. So uh, he says, says address. He says, okay, okay, geez, I won't quit. That is actually scary. I don't know. That that is actually scary. I I would actually get scared from that, guys. And uh, he says, what happened, Tim? He used to be so nice. Oh God, guys. Um, he says I spent variable time playing with him, and this is why I get in return his address. He gets his address. And the next day, uh, Eric, uh, he says, "Give me Robux." So, so I, I, I also want Robux, guys. Eric says, I don't have, um, much left. Uh, he says, go buy some, you idiot. Make sure it's 1,000 Robux. I wish I had 1,000 Robux, guys. As you can see, I only have zero Robux, guys. And, uh, this is a few hours later. Eric says, uh, there you go. Just gave it to you he says good I'm gonna change my avatar guys uh, I keep getting stuck on that table looks like he's gonna change his avatar after spending the robux Eric bought him uh, I don't know where his pants is but he says do you like it Eric says uh, yeah it looks great even though he bought it for him so I don't even know I don't even know, I don't even know guys, but uh, Eric thinks, oh no, I really don't know what happened to him. Uh, okay, it looks like he might be missing, and uh, Cooper says, is anything okay, you're acting a bit strange this week, Eric says, nothing is fine. Cooper said, you sure? And Eric said, yep, it all, it's all good. Uh, and this is at home. That says, what's wrong, Eric? And Eric said, nothing. Uh, he, he says nothing. He just doesn't say nothing. So. Uh, let's go. Mom says, tell us, sweetie, where are your parents? Uh, let's see. Eric says, uh, fine, you promise not to get me to get mad? Mom says, I'll see. Uh, Eric says, well, you know how you told me to quit Roblox? No, guys, he should have quit Roblox while I could. Eric says, I told my friend online that, and he threatened me. Well, well, virtually, but like... Now, Eric says now he bullies me every day. I don't know what to do, guys. Uh, Mom says thanks for letting me know, Eric. I'm not mad at you. Uh, Dad says I'll contact the police if the issue escalates. And Mom says for now you can block him. Eric says thanks so much. Okay. After that, Eric was able to spend more time studying, improving his grades. That's really good. Better than Roblox. Uh, his parents allowed him to play Roblox again due to his commitment to school. And, never, and he never saw Cyber 
again. He says, always stop bullying as soon as possible to avoid the problem arising. Okay guys, looks like this video looks like it's going to be more than 30 minutes long. I'm going to play the last game and we'll see. Okay guys, before I start uh, the last story, which is Emerson's story, and this story is written by uh, uh, Glossy Rose and Provost Deaf Awareness. The story is not interactable and contains audio, uh, but my audio is already turned down because I'm afraid of copyright strike. Okay, also, if you want to play this game, there's also a role playing. You can role play your bully swords. You can remove your hair and stuff and customize your avatar. So that's just something you can do in this game. So let's let's start reading it and Okay, looks like these are the characters. Deetra, Emma, Claire, Emily, Aaron, Mom, Aaron, and Lego, Sage, Club, and Club Mom. Okay. Uh step here to speed past the story. Uh looks like you can do that. You can uh speed past the story. I might be doing that guys. Okay. She says Narrator, and you know, was 11 years old, death since birth, uh, she says, bye mama, and says, says in sign language, and she says, bye sweetie, have a great first day, says in sign language, okay, uh, at school, okay, narration, and I was so excited, she loved to make friends, this year, but this year it was hard for her. And, and says, "Hi, I'm new. Hi, want to be friends? I'm new." Says in sign language. Hello, are you deaf? Why are you? Why aren't you answering us? And she says, "Um, hey, are you new?" Uh. She she says, "Oh my gosh, she just did sign language. She is deaf." She says, no, that means we can tease her without her knowing. And that's pretty funny, guys. And uh, it had no effect. So, yeah. The narrator says the other laughed along. And was confused. It looked like they were laughing at her. And she says, oh, no. They're laughing at me? Is it my clothes? I told Mama people wouldn't like it. Okay, let's see. See if it was our clothes. And she says, uh, go away, deaf girl. We don't want to be friends with you. With someone you can't hear talk is pointless. Well, how come, uh, she's saying that? But she wouldn't be able to hear. It's pointless even saying that. So, uh, I don't know, guys. They just walk away at class. Uh, this is that class, guys. The teacher says, okay, class. Today we have a new student with us, among us, on inner points. She says, why is everyone staring at me? Wasn't I supposed to have a special teacher tell me? I don't know, guys. This doesn't really make any sense. She says, okay, today we'll be working in Paris to discuss the importance of the government. And, uh, looks like they're discussing... The importance of the government, guys. And, uh, she says, Emily, you'll be with Emma. Um, they will say yes, yes. Okay, looks like, uh, Amico, you'll be with Claire. And she says, no, no, please, no. Not with that weirdo. It's like she's gonna be paired with that weirdo. Okay, she says, collab, you'll be friends with... You'll be with Emra. And, and I don't know what she's going to say. Uh, she says, hi, Emra. I'm Cleb. So how do you like school so far? Oh my god, guys. He, he's so hot, man. He, he's, oh my god, guys. Uh, but you didn't hear that from me, guys. Uh, he... Wait, what does the narrator say? Narrator? And it points to her ears. Realize she meant and gives her a note. 
I don't think passing notes is allowed in class. I don't know. She's right. I don't know. I don't, I don't have made any friends yet. Looks like she doesn't have any friends yet. He reads it. He, he reads the note. About the, the note. She writes, oh, you want to be friends? Looks like he's writing, you want to be friends? The, the narrator says, Anna answers back on, of the, of the paper. They continue to communicate that way. And it says, yeah, sure. And it writes down. Uh, looks like they're doing this instead of actually doing the project. But I don't know if anyone's doing the project, so it might be fine. Okay. Uh, at the cafeteria. Uh, she says, Hi, Club and Amingo. This is, is this the new, is this the new girl? And, uh, she says, yep, her name is Arena. Uh, he says she can't, he can't hear. So she is deaf. She, she is deaf, guys. We uh, we already knew that. Uh, they they both wave at each other. Okay. Wait 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 wait. Uh, wait never mind. I saw I saw a narrator. And also looks like I got a McDonald's drink. I don't know where I got that, guys. But I'm gonna keep reading. Uh, she said, "Huh? Wait 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 wait." She says, "Hi, Arena." I bet you're dumb because you can't hear anything. She says, haha, I know how you are supposed to learn without hearing anything. And she says, stupid girl, which is not a pretty good comeback. But it looks like she, she has no clothes on. So I don't know if it's a comeback or all. Uh, looks like she might be dumber than her because, because she didn't even put on any clothes. And, uh, that, that was a pretty bad comeback, guys. Uh, uh, looks like, looks like he says, stop making fun of her. It's not funny. And she says, shut up and mind your own business. Nothing. Looks like he's pretty nosy, guys. And, uh, he says, no, stop making fun of her. She is kind of, she is a kind and friendly person. She said, relax, love. She can't even hear us. Uh, looks like, uh, like he said, this doesn't mean you take advantage of her without loss. So you guys can't make fun of her. Uh, but they just were making fun of her. So I don't see his point. Uh, she says, Oh uh, yeah, it does lose her. And she says, uh, let's go, these nerds. And, and getting us so pressed over something, she doesn't even understand. And she says, I know, right? Let's go, girls. Looks like they're going. They're going, guys. Okay, looks, looks like they gone. They went gone. They, wait, 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 wait. Uh, at, in the next class, narration says, Anna, in class with two of her new friends. She writes something on a piece of paper. Okay guys. Uh 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 hard to read. What happened at lunch? You guys seemed angry, right? And passes uh note to them both. Okay. She she wrote and passes them to them both. Uh Right, they were making fun of you because you're hearing loss, so we stood up for you. Uh, New Raider says, Club passes the note to say, Yeah, but don't worry, bullies making fun of others just so they can't feel better about themselves. Uh, New Raider says, Save chain over the notes back to Arena. And writes back on the new pieces of paper. She says, oh, okay. Thanks for standing up for me. You guys are the greatest friends I've ever had. Uh, new writer says, Sage and Club read the note and they smiled. Okay. 
And this is our Inlet's house. Okay. Uh, how was it, sweetie? Said some sign language. They, there were good and bad things. What happened? Uh, she says I made some new friends. Their names are Club. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Club, Sage, and Nino. And she says, oh, that's awesome. Uh, let's go. And she says, what were the bad things? And she says, well, people bowling at me for my hearing loss. Okay, guys. Looks like they were bowling her. And she says, oh, no, the best thing to do is ignore the bully and to care about themselves. Wait, wait, that doesn't even make any sense. Wait, is she, is she not deaf? That doesn't make any sense, guys. Is she not deaf? Later in Cleb's room. Uh, Cleb spent all night learning and watching <laughs> sign language. Uh, she says, Cleb, it's bedtime. Don't stay up too late. It's not good for you. And he says, Okay, wait, Mom. Uh, learning sign language. Uh, near just said club, closes his laptop and goes into bed. He says, I really hope that Anna appreciates me for learning sign language for her. Okay, guys, looks like you learned sign language the next day at school. Uh, the New York said club, uh, walked up to Anna. And Vera, and she waves at him. Uh, he says, "Hi, Irina." Says in sign language. She says, "You know sign language." Uh, he says, "Yes, I spend all night learning it for you." Uh, looks like, looks like. Um, he says, "Hey, Irina." Hey, Irina. Says in sign language. Hi, Irina. I have a feeling it's going to be a good day, says in sign language. Okay, guys. Looks like, looks like she says, wow, wow, you can do sign language as well. Uh, the narrator said, everything was going well until the group of girls appreciated them once again, approached them once again. And she says, hey, weirdo, what are you doing? Trying to cast a spell? And, uh, okay, let's see what she says. And she says, stop making fun of her. Sure, she's different than you, but we all have differences ourselves. And she says, I agree. feel really bad for making fun of her, but yeah. It's like she's depressed. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was the girl without the good comeback. Or was it her? I think it was actually her, you guys. Uh, in, 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 uh, she says, what, what that, what made you realize that? And she says, well, last night I was thinking about what I said, and I realized it's wrong. Okay, guys. Looks like you realized it's wrong, and, and she says, I made fun of Aria for being different when I am different as well. And she says, what are you doing? Are you, are you becoming a weirdo? Looks like she might be becoming a weirdo, guys. And uh, she says, no, I'm changing myself for the better. Sorry, I don't want to be in your little group anymore. She says, I'll go talk to your new dumb friend. She said, let's go. They walk away, but not her. Uh, she, she says, uh, hey, Maria, I'm sorry for what I did to you. I hope you can forgive me in sign language. I didn't know she, she knew sign language, guys. And she says, my, it's okay. I forgive you. I hope we can be friends. But she doesn't say that in sign language. So, uh, uh. She said, yeah, I like that. Guys, the story is starting not to make any sense. I thought it was sign language. Later on, the uh, boss 
Okay, looks like uh, the narrator said she who stood up for a friend made friends feel her safe. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, she didn't care about the other stuff. Her true friends is what matters to her. Okay, looks like always help someone in need. Besides their differences, please show your love, support, appreciate, and glory Rose for writing the story. Okay, guys, I think the last story was pretty good. Even though I don't think she was blind since she said those things without sign language. But, uh, since this video is longer, uh, I would also like you to like and subscribe. And, uh, hit the bell. And comment down below what game this gets next and hopefully this video don't get five five views like part two because part two got like five views so uh bye guys and remember to